What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2022 Showdown Live. Before we start, I want to say that uh, I took some feedback from yesterday's video when I asked you if I should make a VODs channel and Eclipse channel. Both of those have been made, link to them are going to be down in the description. I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, drop a sub to both of those. They're actually huge for streamer growth, if like uh, if your Eclipse channel takes off, like it's, it's really big, so... Uh, if you guys could support me by checking that out, link in the description and also probably in the comment section. Just drop a sub. It's basically just like live stream clips cut down and edited. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing this Reggie Drago team that I made. Now, this is a kind of interesting take on Reggie Drago. Uh, whenever I build a team, I always go into it saying, okay, this is the Pokemon I want to use. What covers it well? Uh, and I was like, okay, if I'm gonna use Reggie Drago, I have a huge um, dragon type issue and I have a huge fairy type issue and Zacian's really like the biggest one that I'm super concerned about. Uh, so I figured I would pair it with Groudon and Eveltal because, uh, you know, Eveldon's son is actually just a super solid archetype and its speed tier is enough where I can actually use it under Trick Room as well as under Tailwind or not Tailwind, but like plus two speed. So yeah, the Reggie Drago is Choice Specs. We got Dragon's Maw, Dragon Energy, uh, Draco Meteor, Ancient Power, Hyper Beam. Uh, we have 4 HP, 84 Defense. Uh, I believe that just likes to take a, a Behemoth Blade. Uh, 252 Special Attack, 76 Special Defense, and 92 Speed. The Special Defense is just dumped uh, because I had enough left over. It's actually a, I think, 90% chance to one-shot Kyurem White uh, while it's Dynamaxed with Dragon Energy. So if we can actually, like, you know, get uh plus one speed or plus two speed or whatever just set up a situation where they have to target down reggie drago i either get like a trick room off and i'm able to deal with them that way or i just get like a dragon energy off and i deal with their uh kiram that way and kiram white's a huge issue for eveltal teams so yeah I, I figured that would be a pretty cool pairing uh we have eveltal here just a an assault vest spread we have snarl sucker punch dark pulse oblivion wing it's pretty bulky and it's uh fast enough we're at uh plus one we're out speeding um calyrex shadow we have our Groudon, just a white herb set, uh, pretty specially bulky. Uh, I have P-Blade, Swords Dance, Rock Slide Protect. Uh, I actually really like Swords Dance on uh, Groudon teams with Eveltal. Uh, I think it's actually just really good because if you can... Groudon's threatening enough where it like provides its own pressure. If you Swords Dance on the same turn you go for like a, a max airstream with Eveltal, it's just going to like start taking... like It's, it's, it's going to start picking up KOs. Also, I just realized I can optimize this a little bit. Why do I not have enough speed to outspeed Calyrex Shadow at plus two? That would have been throwing right there. That's a speed tie. Anyways, actually, you know what? I, I don't, I forget if that like is going to screw me over. Let's just, uh, let's do this. There we go. There we go. Now we're faster. <laughs> uh, we have a Life Orb G-Max Venusaur. This is actually a spread I made a long time ago. Uh, basically, it just lets me naturally take a Behemoth Blade from Zacian, I believe. Actually, I'm a little concerned that I'm forgetting what that does. So let's go to Peakalytics and just double check this uh, because I don't want to be wrong. I can't remember if it's minus one or neutral. I'm fairly certain it's neutral, but I just want to double check to be sure. Let's see. So save Venusaur, uh, my custom set, Zacian. Yeah, so Behemoth Blade is a roll to KO. Uh, this this uh, Venusaur and our in the sun why is max strike not turning into weather ball we're in the sun okay weather ball dynamic there we go all right we should one shot in the sun with our weather ball that's what it was i remember i like wanted to make it so we had like a pretty decent chance of living behemoth blade and it's what is it? it's 37 percent chance to oko so that's what it was uh we have a bronze song uh with leftovers levitate trick room hypnosis iron defense body press and we have our safety goggles and center that are run on literally every team but yeah uh, this team has been doing pretty good on the ladder. I forget where I'm at right now. I was testing a Regirock team and I dropped a bit, so we're at like 1379. Uh, so let's see if we can just get back up to 1500. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Dragodon. There we go. But yeah, I mean, like, I, I think that this team does fairly well. Uh, I think it's only like super annoying matchup is the Kurum, even though it's like sort of meant to beat it. It's, it's mainly just that it's, it's, it feels like a 50, 50 at times, but it helps out quite a bit, especially if the trick room goes up, they have very little options versus it. This team has a few Pokemon that are kind of Regidrago food, uh, but obviously we have to deal with that Zacian. 
I would say that for this game, we're actually not in a terrible position if we want to go ahead and lead off with... Uh, I don't have Sleep Powder on my Venus, so I dropped it for Protect. I might, I might end up switching to Protect. I just don't have like enough Protect on this team if I drop it there, because we only have it on two Pokemon. I'll say here, uh, we probably want to lead off with uh, Eveltal and Venusaur. We'll bring the Groudon and the Regidrago in the back. All right, uh, so I end up going with the Grimmsnarl and the Charizard. I do have a few options here. I think I'm better off just going for the Eveltal play and going for my uh, Max Airstream. Yeah, I think I actually just want to double this thing. I could even like go for like a Leaf Storm, expecting the Groudon to come in and pick up some massive damage that way. Ooh, is that worth it? Eh, that's probably not worth it. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe unironically it is. You know, let's just double. I don't know if they want to go into Groudon because they're probably scared that I'm going to go for like Leaf Storm, or not Leaf Storm, but um, Sleep Powder. Their trick, Iron Ball, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get this Max Airstream off, which will allow me to be faster. And I can get my Groudon in now, which is actually going to be really huge. Actually, do I want to get my Groudon in? I kind of want to go Regidrago, but the two the two dudes here are really messing me up. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the... Does a Rock Slide KO from this range? I'm a little concerned it doesn't, so I will just double. They go for the Reflect, so yeah, I'm glad I doubled here. Rock Slide will KO. And I'm not super scared of this position. Um, it's mostly just the Wildfire that's going to bear down on me quite a bit. Uh, but that isn't really the end of the world if we're being real here. I have enough speed. I don't really need more speed. Let's just go for the special max darkness on Groudon and a P Blades. Or mm, do I want to get my Drago in here? Not really. I don't think Drago is actually gonna be that useful in this end game. I pretty much just have to like hope that my Hyper Beam can pick up like a, a stray KO. And I can't really afford to go for a Sword Stance Airstream because if they go for anything else, I'm in trouble. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do just go for the, for the Swords Dance Airstream. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm crazy today. I'm crazy. You're going to miss your P-Blades and I'm going to win. That's what's going to happen. I'm crazy. I'm... Oh, I am certainly crazy. Oh, wait, what? 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 <laughs> Not like this. No, it can't. It, it literally cannot happen like this, guys. Why? Why, is it have to, why does it have to happen like this? Okay, let's go Oblivion Wing. I have to lock Dragon Energy and hope that I just like outspeed this Groudon, even though I'm 112 speed oh my god why did it have to happen like that <laughs> i was like no there's no way they're foul play they got screens all right can i be faster i'm not faster okay uh this might still ko actually no not okay gg you know what uh it, it probably would have been in my best interest just to go for the <laughs> just to go for the um the Prespice Blades there. But you can see my thought process, right? You understood what was going on there in my mind. I was like, yeah, I could, I could get away with this. This will be fine. I'm good. Uh, but I was wrong. Let's go ahead and go Bronzong Regidrago because it threatens way too much for them just to ignore it. I definitely want my Eveltal in this matchup and Incineroar seems pretty good rather than Groudon. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my main concern here is the Whimsicott. Whimsicott is possibly carrying a taunt and I actually don't have the tool to deal with that and if I were to lead off basically here's how it goes if I lead off Incineroar and Bronzong and they and they just go for like you know max quake into my Bronzong I lose my Bronzong if I go Regidrago and Bronzong at the very least at some point I get a trick room off or I get a KO it's one or the other they have to choose and neither of those is great for them. So I'm like, I'm very, I'm very cool with that. I can like accept that outcome. However, a max quake uh, would not be ideal. I think I'd rather lose the Drago in this trade than anything, because Incineroar can actually do a lot of work here. Behold, my friends, the least passive, passive lead. Do I make the hard read? I think they can't afford to not target Reggie Drago, so I am going to Trick Room. I am indeed going to Trick Room here. And I'm going to go Eveltal. No. 
I go Incineroar, because they're not going to Quake. They're going to want to go for the Max Hailstorm. If they Quake my Bronzong, I'm just a stinky guy. I just lose. That's just, that's just like the facts. That's just the facts. All right, Max Hailstorm me. Max Hailstorm me, man. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? I can live with it. I can live with it. And do you want to know why? Because this Reggie Drago is about to go in. This Reggie Drago is about to go stupid, in fact. Let's go for the... Um, I mean, this probably doesn't KO now because of the pre-existing damage, but I can go for the body press into the dragon energy, and I should be fine. Follow me. Yep, doesn't quite KO, but I do get my Veltal in here, which is kind of okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't need to Dynamax yet. My Snarl into Body Press will KO anything. And then in the upcoming turns, I can make use of my Eveltal pretty effectively because their Dynamax is gone. And really, once this curum has gone, they have nothing. Like, answers to Eveltal just go out the window if I just spam Max Darkness. As my dog is playing with the carpet behind me. There's the Incineroar, and that's fine. They protect, that's fine. Uh, they should still be in range of, I think I just Dynamax here to be honest, an Iron Defense. Yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm gonna go for my Max Darkness onto you. That will KO the Curum. Uh, they have no switch ins to that. If I Iron Defense up here, they're in trouble. Kali Shadow is gonna come in. They go for the Parting Shot. I mean, I'm still gonna do way too much to you, dude, and then I, and then I can just start spamming moves. Here's the Darkness. It's not Sash, it was Life Orb. Um, oh no, it wasn't Life Orb. What was your item? I don't know why, I was I was scrolling over it and it said it was still the Kirim. What was the item on that Kali? Specs? It could be Specs, Specs is picking up. Uh, luckily for me, I can just Iron Defense again here and go for a... Ooh, do I wanna do that? This is actually a little bit tricky. This is a little tricky if I'm being real with you guys. Let me think. So if I body press here, I don't KO the Incineroar. But the Curum is like low enough where if I get a single Snarl off, it'll end up KOing itself in a turn. I think I double the Incineroar and just try my luck here. I could also Airstream to be honest. Airstream wouldn't be a bad idea because then I outspeed. We're going to Airstream. Body press, Airstream should pick it up. They're not going to KO my Bronzong. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with that. The Snarl will now do it. The Snarl will now do it. Also, they just parting shotted, so, you know, <laughs> they lose. We're good. All right, cool. We managed to get through the reg uh, the, the, the Kira matchup. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, it's a little bit iffy. If you can play it well enough, you're going to get through it. But, like, it doesn't secure the Kira matchup. It just makes it so there's too much pressure, uh, pressure for them to want to deal with anything uh, other than the Reggie Drago. Now, this team seems to have a bit of Regidrago food, but even though there's only one fairy type, they still have an immunity in Shedinja, which is a little annoying, but my, uh, I, I mean, I can still go for, like, Snarl Spam here, I can go for Ancient Power onto the Shedinja. I actually quite like Snarl Spam the more I look at it, uh, but I might actually lead off Regidrago and bring the Grot on the back, because I could pick up, like, just one free KO by Dynamaxing it, or um, I might have to go in the damage calc. Let me hop in the damage calc real quick here because I actually don't know which does more. Let me do this. So Reggie Drago, blank set. Or oh, go with the Picolytic OU set. 252, we're modest. Modest, uh, why can't I find the ability? Or the, the set. There it is, modest. We are choice specs. And we're going to be versus, the one I'm mostly concerned about is the Thundee. All right, that's not it. Thundee, Picolytic OU set. All right, uh, let's see. So if I Dynamax and they Dynamax, why is that Reggie Lucky? Why am I stupid? Reggie Drago. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little, I'm a little stupid today. Choice Scarf. Choice Specs, there it is. And my Dragon Energy Draco Meteor that does that much. My Draco Meteor has a better chance of, of KOing if I don't Dynamax. So I think I do still lead off this way. Um, and I want to bring the Venusaur on lead and the Groudon and the Eveltal. Okay, uh, I can live with that. I go Groudon here and I attempt a one-shot on the Zacian. If they're bulky, it doesn't one-shot, but if they're not bulky, it does, and they should be very scared. 
uh, and I should be very proud of this very cool lead that I made. And if I get rid of the Zacian, I'm in a very good spot. All right, let's see if I get this one shot. Bada bing, bada boom, please be jolly man. Ah, why you gotta do this to me, man? Why you gotta do this to me? On the bright side, we tank that. We can't be schmooved upon. Um, and I always go for the, they should switch out the Kyogre, I believe. I'm gonna get in my Eveltal and I should go for the Max Vine Lash on the Zacian because they might want to go Shedinja for the Kyogre. If you go anything for the Kyogre, it's Shedinja here. I need to get this Vine Lash off if I want to win. If they end up... <gasps> okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, no! No, not like this. All right. They Dynamax. Uh, I should be faster than any Kyogre that's Dynamax, so I get to Snarl Spam. Which is very cool, as we all know. It's a very cool thing to do. I'm going to go Grout on here. Um... And I can now Vine Lash the Kyogre, which should do a decent amount of damage. And I don't think they're going to want to protect. They might not They might not have protect. For all I know, they're Scarf. Actually, wait. I, I think I know that they're not Scarf. Anyways, we get that damage off, which is very cool and awesome. And I have Sucker Punch on my Eveltal, so I feel very confident about this endgame. Regardless of how scary it might be. They're going to take Hail Damage. There's the Zacian. It dies. Uh, let's send in the Eveltal. And I have to keep my Regidrago in the back because the Tekton Ancient Power might win us this game. He's taking too much damage at the end of each turn. There's no way he one-shots me. I'm going to go for the P-Blades and I am going to go for the uh, the Snarl here. He geysers my Eveltal. We live. I get my Snarl off, and I will also get my P Blades. So I think we've secured the win with the Reggie Drago endgame. If we connect on both of these, we don't connect on both of these. The Incineroar lives. Everything's going wrong, guys. <laughs> All right, show me the Shedinja. You can show it. Oh, it's Kartana. That's slightly worse, but it's also not unwinnable. Um, because Reggie Drago does have quite a bit of bulk, and I can sucker punch this Kyogre. I'm just fairly certain it won't KO. That's the main issue. That's what I'm scared of. Let's go Reggie Drago here. Um, and let's Sucker Punch a Kyogre and hope that we can do it. Because he still has a turn of Vine Lash. Maybe I don't do that. I mean, the Reggie Drago... I, maybe I protect. Maybe I protect and I actually go for like... Ooh, all right, let me think. I think I protect and I sucker punch the Kartana because if it's Sash, I lose. He goes to the Leaf Blade. Let's see if we live this somehow. Oh, busted Pokemon. Busted Pokemon. Let's go Reggie Drago here. And I sucker punch the Kyogre, I believe. Also, wait, hold on. It's not Scarf. That's something to note. That's something notable. So I think I might Snarl. Yeah. That does a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, but the Snarl is decent damage. Um, I keep the, I definitely keep the Eveltal around actually. Let's go for the Dragon Energy because even though they're going to deal a lot of damage to me, it is like a spread damage move that will pick up KOs on everything that's weakened. And also Kartana won't like it generally. All right. I think I Draco the Kartana and that will win me the game if I connect. If I connect either of these moves on Kartana, I think I'm good. Okay, I got the Draco off. I think I win. As long as he has not parting shot here, I'm good. Oh yeah, that's a win, guys. That's a win. <laughs> yeah, Ice Beam, Geyser, Origin Pulse. I don't even know if he has Protect, but I'm, I'm guaranteed faster, right? Oh wait, Kyogre's max speed is 149. I think I have to Sucker Punch. I think I'm literally like, I have to Sucker Punch over and over and over again. If, if they do up protect, they reveal it here. No, 
No, Kyogre can be faster if they're timid, so I do have to Sucker Punch. I Sucker Punch again. I literally don't stop Sucker Punching. When there's one Sucker Punch left is when I'm going to click, like, Dark Pulse. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Got him. GG. GG, well played. All right. So we managed to get through that one, too. I think I have time for, like, one more. One more would be good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. No immunities. No immunities to the Draco. So if we manage to get rid of you and we get the Draco win at plus one, we go insane. We go stupid, in fact. Ridiculous, perhaps. Inconceivable at times. Uh, let me think. So, I mean, Aleki is like a very obvious lead. I think I might just go Drago Groudon, and in the back, uh, we can throw in our Incineroar, which seems invaluable this game. Absolutely invaluable. All right, now you ready for my epic Poggers play that he will never see coming? He's going to Sleep Powder my Eveltal and fake out my Reggie Drago, but I will not allow this outcome. I, Marcos Boosted the Eighth, will not allow such an outcome. All right, Sleep Powder the Incineroar slot. You know you want to, bud. Oh, yeah. Marcos boosted the eighth. Never loses. I fake out you now. I max worm win you. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Predictable. Gone. Gone. Good game. I see no way you can come back from this. <laughs> I still have one worm win to throw out, and it's got... I think it's got Eveltal's name on it. I think Eveltal has a has a good has a good Wormwind on its back. Uh, let's go for that. Let's Wormwind the Eveltal. Get in my Eveltal. Don't max guard. I'll cry. He airstreams my Eveltal. That's fine. I can intimidate you, and I'm gonna get a very powerful Wormwind here. He goes for the P Blades. I'm gonna eat that up because I have 200 base HP. Because this Pokemon's a little broken at times. Stupid, perhaps. Um, let's get in my Incineroar and drop a Draco Meteor on you, because I am mostly invested in just getting this Groudon alone. And it's also Life Orb, so it's going to take quite a bit of damage. Let's see if we tank. We don't tank. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's get the Eveltal in. Who should be able to eat a hit. Just a single hit. And I have to get this to like a Groudon 1v1. I almost want a Flare Blitz here, because I should tank a hit from this Groudon. I should take a P Blades from this range. So I think I will double. I think that's my play. Airstream. Ooh, this is going to be close. I mean, I do have Sucker Punch, so I think I win. Stone Edge, no crit. Poggers, Poggers, all right. Get good damage there. I still have a Sucker Punch to throw out. I go for my P-Blades, I go for my Sucker Punch, and I think that'll do it. Actually, I think... I might have I might have needed to protect there the more I think about it. All right, this is gonna be rough. Um, rock slide? <laughs> I might have freaked it. That's too much. Okay, I might have freaked it there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we, we might have thrown a little bit. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I'm like, wait, mm, I think he's going to heal too much. All right, this team also has no Regidrago immunities, which is very cool. Uh, it's mostly just, the only thing I'm seriously concerned about is this guy right here, the Regieleki. But this is uh, this is doable. Let's go Eveltal. Yeah, I go Eveltal here. And do I want Trick Room? It depends. I mean, I would imagine this is a faster Dialga. So if I do get a Trick Room off, we're not in the worst position. Ooh, do I want a Trick Room? I don't know if he can stop the Trick Room unless he... If he leads off Eveltal, he can stop it. But if he doesn't, I think we're good. Uh, you know, let's just let's just try. The Lando is also a bit scary. Let's lead off Eveltal. 
No, I think I do need the bronze on, but I have to get rid of the sea veltal. That's the issue. Let's go e veltal and Venusaur. Nah, yeah, screw it. We'll go Groudon, Reggie Drago. We're going to go fast mode. Fast mode it is. Um, do I want to Dynamax my Venusaur here? That's like the big question. I think it's actually kind of worth it. That residual damage, if this is, especially if this is like Life Orb Veltal, that might like secure me a lot of really, really good stuff here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This might be very short-sighted, but uh, I'm willing to. I'm willing to go for it. I'm also guaranteed faster than any Regieleki. Cool. He stays in. I'm going to get this off. That's some pretty decent damage for the rest of the game. Let's see if he Oblivion wings me. He tail wins. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Actually, I'm a little concerned here. Still faster than the Incineroar, which is pretty nice. Um, I might want to go... Man, do I Weather Ball or do I Ooze? I can go eat my, with my Veltal here, imagining he would like fake out. And I think I want to Ooze onto their Eveltal, because if that thing Dynamaxes, we're kind of in trouble. Yep. All right. I should take one since I'm so bulky. Yep. It's going to be decent damage here. I haven't seen manual Tailwind in such a long time, dude. My main concern is the double up from the Incineroar, because a Flare Blitz will hurt me quite a bit. But I think once this thing's gone, we're like not in a bad spot. Let's go for the Oblivion Wing on it. It didn't reveal Life Orb or anything. In fact, I think it's Assault Vest. But let's max guard. Because an endgame Venusaur might also be very nice. And he still has a few turns of uh, Vine Lash damage. He kind of has to double me if he wants to win, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, he doubled. That's not great. Do I live? Oh, no, he didn't double. Okay, that's fine. Um, Yeah, I don't hate this, because it's going to be in range of Sucker Punch in a turn. Actually, it's in range of Sucker Punch now if I Sucker Punch. I think it's going to take too much. Let's Sucker Punch, and... That might do it, actually. I, I'm hopeful it will, because there's still a turn of Vine Lash they have to deal with. Uh, let's just double. Airstream's me. I should tank that. All right, let's see. Not quite, but honestly, this isn't a bad situation either. Because I can just I can just click Dragon Energy, and we're actually in a pretty decent spot. Yeah, I literally just drag an energy here and I get a KO. But I have to get my Eveltal out, perhaps? That's the concern. Or maybe I keep it in. I mean, I, I don't know if I take a Flare Blitz. But Dragon Energy will pick up a KO on anything. And I don't think he's going to fall for the Sucker Punch. Let's just go for the Oblivion Wing. Dragon Energy. Okay, yeah, we have a bit of a pin here. We do have a bit of a pin. He doesn't take Choice Spikes Dragon Energy well, and he doesn't take Precipice Blades either. I think this is a pin. I have to connect the P-Blades, though. That's, like, mandatory. Roar of Time. Let's go! All right, Reggie Drago, seal it up for me. Bam. All right. Nice. I mean, we climbed to 1,400 today, and it was still a pretty fun video. We lost two games, 1-3, I believe, but uh, I think this is still a very fun team. I Obviously, there are some issues that it needs to get sorted out. Uh, mainly the pilot. I think it has a terrible pilot. Great author, terrible pilot. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. Again, be sure to check out my Twitch uh, clips and VODs channel. There's going to be a lot of content there, and it does help my channel grow up uh, so much if you guys can start pumping that. But yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.